and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a huge Costco haul. If you haven't been here before, my name is Kerry and lots of my videos are shopping hauls, meals of the week and recipe videos. So today I went to Costco and I spent lots of money, <laughs> Two, but I haven't done it for ages. So maybe a little bit too much, but I've started on Christmas and it's Isaac's birthday coming and we ran out of loads of things. I have one bin liner left and just enough aerial to do one wash load. So it was well overdue. I spent uh, £594 and one penny and it's about what I expected to spend. Um, plus I've bought some things that I didn't expect. So that was quite good actually. So without further ado, I'm not going to chatter on too much. I'll um just about managed to fit it onto the table so I'll turn you around and show you what I bought today. Okay we will start over here in case I have to dash off and get the children from school because it's almost pickup time and I have to hide these things. So the truck is for Isaac, he saw it last time he was there with me and he loved it. He has a thing about dumper trucks, um, like rubbish lorries and recycling lorries and dustbin men, so as well as diggers and trains and all those other things and tractors. So I've got picked this up for him for his birthday to go with his um, main present for his birthday. And this is for Eris. Um, she saw seen this before and thinks it's the best thing she's ever seen and it was made especially just for her. And that was £30, which is good because the normal little sets are about £15, I think, for about three of the animals. So that was quite good. And that's going to go to my mum because Grandma is giving that to her or sending it to Santa for her for Christmas. And then I've bought some of these uh, cronuts for snacks and treats for the children uh, for the next couple of days and over the weekend, etc. And a, a box of breakfast minis. They love uh, croissants and pan au chocolat. So that's for breakfast for the children. We've got a, we live in the countryside. If you haven't been here before and you didn't already know, <laughs> we live in a little village, Northumberland, and it is our local village vegetable show this weekend. So all the fruits and veggies and the different things will be showed. So we'll be busy on Saturday. So that will be a really good easy breakfast for the weekend. I bought some baking potatoes. They look really good today. So, and I'll use them as normal potatoes as well, but they should do really good for jacket potatoes, a big bag of onions, because I'm going to get the slow cooker out and make lots of uh, lovely meals and to keep those prices down. Uh, two milks, we, I was there, so I pick up a few things while I'm there instead of going and doing a shop at Tesco or Aldi. Some lettuce, and today is the 8th, and that's got the 14th of September on it, so that's great, and that's about £2.50 or something, and that's that great big bag. Some mini sweet peppers for salads and cooking. Some courgettes, I'm going to make a courgette curry, and I'm going to film it. So if you getting courgettes or they've got a glut of courgettes I know they're on their way out of the season but so people have got them left over and it is a delicious curry so I'm going to do that shortly look out for that one some grapes for Aries and Steve they love them to snack on a six pack of bacon and it's got the 13th 12th of October on it so it's a really good date and whatever we don't get around to using our freeze some of these um uh filled pastas they are really really good and I do it as a pasta bake or as a soup. Some mushrooms, I'm going to make some cream of mushroom soup and um, just the kids are back at school and just worrying about uh, bugs and colds and all of this stuff and mushrooms have all the antioxidants in so we'll make some of that. Quaker to go uh, for breakfast bars. We have breakfast and then we get dressed and then the children have um, a breakfast bar on the walk up the hill to their village school so they'll be handy for that. Some tomato paste in lieu of uh, tomato puree and I've ran out and I prefer it actually and it's really nice and thick and goes a long way. Some organic chopped tomatoes. They were only 50p more than the non-organic ones so that's why I went with those ones today. Some Greek yogurt for Steve for his breakfasts. A four pack of um, your vegetable stock cubes and I think it was only something like five pounds for four packs um, of eight so it's a really good value some plain flour I ran out of flour so it's easier to stock up there's one missing because my mother-in-law came with me she only needed one uh one flour so she just <laughs> gave me a pound and took took one and some Nutellas for the children the be ready bars some salsa and um, it's a really nice salsa these ones in in these tubs I do like to make my own but it ha I have really sensitive skin and eczema on my hands so it um 
the acidity from the tomatoes stings my fingers so this is good to have in some elmley double creams uh, to keep in the fridge out in our garage really handy for cooking rather than buying uh, fresh cream all the time i know it's not quite cream but it does the job when it's going into something that you're cooking some heroes yogurts for the children i promised them i'd buy them some yogurts at the shop some honey roasted sliced ham and that's got the 30th of september on there and that's two packs and it was about five pounds for two huge packs of ham i don't know if you can and it's they're full all the way to the top of that and you can freeze one as well and it uh, defrosts really nicely two cathedral city cheddars because they're more reasonably priced at the um at costco i think it's like three pounds something for the big pack rather than three pounds something for the small one in the supermarket some parmesan this lasts really well it lasts a really long time in the fridge so i'll just keep that for pizzas and pastas and different things some grated cheese we're going to have jacket potatoes and um a lasagna and pizza and all sorts coming up so that'll be really useful as with the grated mozzarella two anchor butters much more reasonably priced in costco than the supermarket an unsalted one for baking and a, a regular salted one and some anchor spreadable um, and a, a french butter just for if we're having a bread i've got some bake at home breads in the freezer and that uh, just some nice bread to go on it picked up some of these um onion bargy scotch eggs for steve because he really likes them and they're a good snack for him as well um some sun-dried tomatoes i love sun-dried tomatoes on pizzas in salads in pasta in falafels everything so it's really handy Pull apart cheese bread. There's two in there and it's really good. And you get camembert, emmental and brie. And it's really, really tasty. Steve and I's, um, or mine and Steve's, anniversary is coming up soon. And we'll just eat in and have, have a nice meal uh, one evening. Or like a carpet picnic. So that'll be really nice. Some hazelnut spread. This tastes identical to Nutella and is 20p per 100 grams cheaper. So the Nutella, 950 gram uh, jar of Nutella was something like 4.99 and this was 5.99 for two um, kilograms. So yeah, um, squirty cream. This president's squirty cream is really, really good. It tastes like proper cream and it's just nice for a posh coffee or a hot chocolate now and again. And some passata, don't have any passata in. Rapeseed oil again, don't have any. I've got extra virgin olive oil, but sometimes rapeseed oil is better if I'm doing um, like roast potatoes or Yorkshire puddings or something. And some Kirkland House Blend coffee beans, because if you notice down there, this was only £10 for a kilogram bag. Is it a kilogram? Mm, I think so. Oh, 907, so just off a kilogram. Roasted by Starbucks. So, yeah, it was on that Secrets of Costco film, um, film uh, documentary on Channel 5, and they did a taste test uh, with this one and the Starbucks one, and this one won, like a blind taste test, so that was interesting. Some of these uh, Mediterranean margarita flatbreads, they had to go in the freezer, you get 10 in the box, I think, and they're ready in a few minutes. They're really good for really quick teas for the children coming in from school hungry or um, lunch lunches at a weekend as well. Two loaves of bread. Bread is cheaper and the dates are better in the in Costco. So 15th of September on there. Some red pepper uh, hummus. This Ramona's heavenly hummus. Isaac will eat nearly this whole tub if I let him. So it's really useful for snacks and for supper and dips and things for him. Nice treat for us. And it's got an excellent date on it. So I'll put these out in the fridge in the garage and then that's a nice um, evening treat for Steve and I. Children don't like tiramisu but that would be very nice. I bought some Christmas decorations. I just liked those. My Christmas tree is all dark greens and purples and blues like the dark colours and gold so that would be nice with it. And then some books for the children. This it's I think I'm going to give to Iris to play with on Isaac's birthday because she's only four. So she doesn't feel left out when he's got all of his presents. And then this one I just spotted and I'd never seen it before. The Baddies by Julia, Julia Donaldson and um, Alex Scheffler. So we love these books. So I always pick one up if I see one. I got some chocolate chips. 
a huge big bag of chocolate chips. I find I'm always buying a bag of them at the supermarket and they're either 65p or a pound. And then half of it goes in the bin because they're left open. And I like to use them on granola if I want chocolate granola or we'll do baking or the children sometimes just like some chocolate chips in a bowl. I don't know why. So I thought that was quite good. I think it was eight pounds for this huge big bag, which works out cheaper than buying them separately all the time. And it's resealable. So I can keep them safe. Some kitchen uh, bin liners. As I said, I only have one left. But, and that might actually be in the bin now. So, well, like in the bin as a bin liner. Some Dettol surface cleaners. I've only got one of these left. And that's what we like to use to clean our benches and kitchen. So I bought some more of those. And some of this Rio Light Tropical. It's a sparkling water with tropical fruit flavours. So I thought that would be really tasty because I'm not bothered about Diet Coke. But every now and again, you know, when you just fancy something fizzy. So I probably should just get a cartridge for the soda stream, but for now I'll have these. And then these I just spotted out the corner of my eye. So there's char grill pepper paste, pesto, grilled vegetable pesto, uh, chili pesto, uh, tomato and ricotta, sun-dried tomato and classic. And I really like the uh, Filippo Berrio pesto. So, And I can't justify... Um, making my own with the price of pine nuts at the moment. They had a big bag of pine nuts in there and it was either 19.99 or 29.99. It might have been 30 pounds for this big bag of pine nuts and it I can't spend that on a on a bag of nuts. So it's cheaper to buy to buy some some aerial as I said ran out of that as well so I bought some aerial and I was going to get the powder but this worked out cheaper. It was 22 pounds for a box of powder that did 140 washes and this one was uh, 17 pounds for 130 washes so I know it's in a plastic bottle and the powder's in a cardboard box but at the moment it's about saving money so I've got those gas and electric bills to pay so and everything else that's gone up in price the pizzas you'll notice there is no pizza today normally we get a pizza from Costco and they are now seven pounds 49 for a cheese and tomato pizza so I, I can make it for cheaper at home. Um, a big box of 30 Diet Coke, a Stee, and I'll have the odd one. And Eris likes them. She calls them busy frinks. <laughs> so we haven't correct, we, we do correct her on her speech for that one, but we find it really cute. It's two Robinson's uh, squash, uh, orange squash, some wrapping paper. This is £10 and it's double sided. So you get two different. Um, ones and adults aren't really bothered if their wrapping paper comes in children's paper or not so there we go uh, a couple of alcoholic treats for Steve and I we I've got this big um, magnum of Sancerre was only 20 pounds and it's 15 pounds a bottle of Sancerre in um, Tesco's and Waitrose so as for the cheapest one so pick that up and then a rosé one and then this um white one uh, which has the taste of tropical fruits I thought that would be quite nice and Steve would like a bottle of wanted a bottle of whiskey and the Shiva's Regal was on offer so it was only £19.90 with VAT so that was a good deal for that and he hasn't had a bottle of whiskey for months so I don't mind obviously I don't mind um, and then some extras this is in the beginning bit that tempts you in to spend money on all the things you didn't really need and some trainers for Isaac, which we do need because his feet have grown. And But these are only £16.99. Some little feeler trainers, so they'll be perfect for him for school, for doing PE. Um, some pyjamas. So and they've got fleecy bottoms and then just a regular long sleeve top. And they'll be lovely, you know, like for weekends if it's cold and they can stay in their jammies through the weekend. So they're for Eris. And then those ones are for Isaac. And they're lovely and wintry ones. I got two pairs of jogging bottoms for Isaac, just the champion brand, a black pair and a grey pair because he shot up over the summer, as they do, playing out in the sunshine. And a coat, a, a Parker coat, a new coat, so I need to find one for Eris, but it's got the lovely reflective strip on it. And it did it have, I think it's got like a little badge on the on the sleeve. And that was only twenty two ninety nine, which in its um, fairy inside, and we keep him lovely and warm. And dry at school so that's nice and some pockets in it and some pillows two pillows um for our bed one for each for Steve and I so we'll get rid of the two off our bed that are the worst two 
and take an old one each and then have a new one each and then I'll slowly upgrade the other two and then the obligatory bulk buying toilet rolls and kitchen towels <laughs> as you do from Costco because we've ran out I think I've got two um pieces of kitchen towel left on the roll and only a few toilet a couple of toilet rolls in the cupboard so there we go that I think was a very successful Costco shop and we've got lots of things and now I just need to find somewhere to put everything ah the challenge <laughs> that's the challenge gonna get those frozen uh margarita flatbreads in the freezer I think before they defrost and get all of this put away so there we go that is my Costco shop so I'll just turn you around there we go and uh yeah that is my Costco shop Thank you for joining me today and thank you for watching my video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Like a peek at what you can get from Costco if you don't have a membership or a little peek at what is there if you do have one and you wanted to have a look to see what was there before you went along to have a look. So there we go. That's everything we bought. It's our 590 something pounds. And uh, thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.